great Christmas. I unfortunately didn't get to see my family because they're in Texas and I'm in California. Well, I have plans to see them in January, so I'm looking forward to that. Other than that, I have a cool color change that I want to show you and teach you. It's the one that I did in the intro. It's pretty angle sensitive. Kind of one of those lights that you don't do in person. You just do it for the camera or for your friends or something like that. But it does look really good. I love practicing things that I'll never use. I mean, the more you know how to manipulate those cards, the better you are off, right? Yes, I did do that myself. Yes, it did take hours. <laughs> well, other than that, let's get into the tutorial. First of all, I want to say that I made this up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I wasn't the first. I'm not saying that I deserve credit for it. I'm pretty sure somebody else came up with it way before I did. I was just messing around with the diagonal palm shift and I stumbled across this and I think it's really cool. All right, so let's learn this, huh? Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a card, place it into the middle, right? First step. And then from here, you're going to push it in diagonally, much like the diagonal palm shift. But this finger, your pinky is going to stay here. And it's going to catch that card, I'll explain. Right? So you're going to push it in diagonally. And that is going to come out. And your pinky is going to catch it right there. Now, whenever I push it in diagonally, I like to keep these fingers out of the way like that. Keep a little gap. So then it gives it room to poke out so my pinky can catch it. And you are pushing it in with the cover of this hand like that. And then from here, you're going to pivot it off of the thumb. The ring finger and the middle finger are going to pivot it out just a little bit, right? So you're in this position now. And then from here, you are going to bend the card like this, right? And while you're bending the card like this, this thing, these two fingers, the ring in the middle, are going to go under the card, okay? And this is all with the cover of this hand. So you're going to bend it and you're going to pull it out like this. And then it's going to come out and it's going to come, you're going to bring it to the top of the deck like that and it's still being covered from this area you have to mess with the angles find out how to hide it the right way and from here you are going to push the card into palm into deep palm like this right and these fingers are going to hold it so it does not fall and then from here you can do a number of things you can do that that's what I like to do. But I want to run through this one more time with you. Place the card in, you out jog it through the side, and then you're going to pull the card down a bit and pivot it and grab it with the pointer finger like this. And then you are going to start to bend the card, and as you bend the card, these fingers are going under, right? So it's like that. And then you're going to pull it all the way out. And then you're going to bring it to the top of the deck like this. And then from here, you are going to push it into palm. Now you're like this. And then you can execute 
the color change however you like. Well, the angles for this is pretty bad. I'll show you if you do it from this side, you're going to get caught unless if you misdirect. So that's pretty obvious that I did something. And from this side is good, but you want to make sure to tilt this way a bit as you do it. And that's what really hides it good and makes it look good. And here's a little trick that you can do using this. Um, so let's uh, we'll use this card and the Queen of Diamonds. The King of Clubs will go into the middle and we'll push it all the way and square up the deck and with just a wave it jumps back to the top. And if you notice the Queen of Diamonds is actually in the middle. So it's like a transposition trick. It's real quick. It's not, it's not anything too crazy. Another cool little subtlety that you can do with this is once you push it in, you do all of this stuff, and then you have it in palm, you can pinch it like this and point at the deck. So you can say the two of spades will change into your card, just like that, right? So you basically are pinching it, kind of. You'll see what I mean if you have a card. I think this is called deep palm. So it's like this, and then you just wave your hand over, and there you go, you could do a double to clean up, and that's it. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe, I'll be putting out more videos in the future. And by the way, I put out a video recently where I teach people how to sneak cards into spectators' pockets. I think it's really good. I go through all the ways to distract, how to do it, and all that stuff. I'm gonna make a part two, because I feel like I left some things out. But make sure to check it out, and like and subscribe, of course. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.